Just because of stress you are having high blood pressures, just because stress you are having anxiety and palpitations and worry about future and worry about what will happen to my grandchildren, what will happen, the new regime is coming, so I don't know whether we will get uh, the benefits from the government or the government will go bankrupt the way it is going and you are worrying about everything, oh my God, what's happening in Syria and Iraq and what's happening in India and what's happening in Bangladesh, you have so much to worry, the whole world is on your head only. Bringing this crappy mind into a state where a mind is a peaceful mind. One thing is for sure, whosoever we are, whatsoever our religion is, whatsoever our um, systems of uh, politics or belief systems are, we all wish to have peace of mind. We all wish to have a good deep sleep. And you know what, when you are too much stressed and your mind is compulsively thinking, you can never taste the deep sleep the way a child does. Have you seen a child sleeping? They look like angels. That's why we, we call Balak to Bhagwan hai, Bacha to Bhagwan karup hai. Because their mind is absolutely in so calmness and they go in such a deep sleep and you will never hear a child, you know, having a blood pressure. Really, I, I really hope to see that this doesn't change. Although the teenagers are getting into this zone of anxiety, of palpitations, of feeling low, of inferiority complexes, and that is happening, the age is getting reduced day by day. But still I can say a five-year, a four-year, a three-year-old kid, when they sleep, that is what the real sleep is. And they are sleeping on father's shoulder, their head is dropping down, they are sleeping. Their head is dangling, but they are sleeping. Sometimes they are walking and they are sleeping, the parents are just dragging them by the hand. They sit in the car, they can sleep, put in them in the bed, they can sleep. They are sitting on the sofa, they sleep. I know one time a child was eating and he slept. Mouth is filled with his food and he would chew a little bit and go down, then he will up, then he will again chew. He is so sleepy, food is in his mouth and yet he is sleeping. Let this child grow and he becomes an, or she becomes an adult in the stress and that untrained mind, then you have a best bed. You know, these days you have those numbered bed. Wife has three number, husband has five number. She has a softer one, he has the harder one. Yeah. So much tamasha for the mattress. And the air conditioner is there and people have DGU, the, the double glass is, is put so that they cut off the sound. Uh, and they have everything and yet they can't sleep. That's why they need a medication. Now I say, make a choice. Either you live your life, this crappy life with just medication or you learn to meditate. You choose. You choose. See, it is nothing to do that you will please God if you will do yoga nidra. No, no, no. It is nothing to do with God, but it has everything to do with you. Your mind will be saner, calmer, relax, your body will be disease free and then you will be in a position to do a meditation or do a prayer or do your simran or do your job or do something, whatever your religion permits you to do or expects you to do. You will be in a position to do that, only then, not now. That is job of the Guru to say, do the Sumiran. They have also taught how to do it, but unfortunately nobody wishes to go into those depths, how to do. People have stress, they want to be stress-free, but they won't go to somebody to take a help and ask, 
how to be de-stressed. And I say, you don't need any medicine, you don't need an alcohol, you don't need a shopping, you don't need gossiping, you don't need anything, you just need to learn a simple system of yoga nidra and that if you do, uh, don't do it at night time because the probability of going to sleep is more because body is exhausted. Don't do it just after eating heavy food. There should be a gap of three hours at least. If you take a heavy lunch, wait for three hours, then do it. Otherwise, you can do it at any time. Body should be refreshed, energetic, rested. Then do this. It's just a 40 minute practice. I have recorded it in, in Hindi language, in English language, and also Spanish language. Three languages are there, whichever is, is your uh, choice. You can have somebody said, Will you do in Punjabi? Yes, why not? Somebody said, would you do in Gujarati? I say, why not? It's just a matter of me sitting in my studio, which we have in the ashram itself. I don't have to go anywhere. And I have my, my wonderful sound engineer right here. So I just have to sit and do it. It's, it's not a big issue. Only thing is that I wish to see you saner, calmer, and minus your medicines. Right? Now, very important thing. The stress is directly related to functioning of your liver also. Say, if you are too stressed out and you have high blood pressure, then your liver too functions in a very slower mode, which will lead to amassment of cholesterol, which will lead to have higher triglycerides. Now this is one thing which I really um, have to mention about it, that in this clinical trial we found that doing yoga nidra had an impact on the triglyceride levels also. Now how did that happen? It happened because when the cortisol level goes down, that is the stress hormone, your heartbeat gets normalized, your blood pressure is getting normalized, so there is no load onto the liver also. And liver is the second largest organ after skin in your body. And when liver functions well, your cholesterol level remains in a normal uh, levels and then there is no worry about it. People take so many medications just to bring the cholesterol levels down and I think so now you are pretty aware, I think so last year or some six months ago, now the report is out that even the government, the FDA is saying this, that certain medicines which were being prescribed to bring the cholesterol down has damaged more. I won't take names, I don't have to. It was not needed, but they had no other option. They had no other option, so they were recommending, so people were taking. And now they say it, it is having a, a very harmful effect onto the liver, having effect onto the heart, and having effect onto the total health of the body. So doing yoga nidra helps your internal organs to function well. Besides giving you a so relaxed state that when you uh, are done with your yoga nidra, this is what people have been responding to me after their experience of doing yoga nidra when I am conducting the class and that is they are feeling lighter and they feel as if they'll fly, they're so saner and happier and calmer and they're feeling beautiful inside. And you know, when your mind is beautiful, life is beautiful. When your mind is beautiful, even your wife and your husband who you had a hundred reasons not to like, even they would be nice. You don't seem nice. You see, if you have a jaundice, then whatever you see has a yellow tone, right? If somebody has a jaundice, everything is yellow tinged and toned. 
when your mind is saner relaxed and happier the whole world will seem to you happier saner calmer the the trees will be more greener the ocean will be more blue the sky will be fantastic and and children will be lovely and wife will be beautiful and husband will be handsome yes it will see when you are irritated and unhappy you are going to vomit this frustration on to others and nobody else but your own loved ones are victim of your frustrated mind so when you do yoga nidra not only you gain the benefit even your family gains the benefit one of my student um is an eye surgeon in india so after attending my shibir that was in rishikesh he met me after say six months or so and he says to me that uh, my staff was saying go 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 and meet guru ma and i was wondering why are they saying like that so i had to ask why are you saying like that this is my staff and my personal secretary and my nurses they were all in my office and they said sir when you went to rishikesh and did that meditation camp and when you came back you lost your anger your irritations your yellings all the time you were yelling at us and and saying harsh words to us but when you came back from the camp you were so nice you were so calm you were so good and now you are going back to the same old doctor we don't like that old doctor we like that doctor who was nicer and good to us so we request when is the next guru mahesh camp please go there <laughs> another thing one of a lady she said to me she had a history of heart problem then after the sadhana the yogic practices which she learnt and she was doing it nicely and her doctor was getting very happy and he said whatever you are doing please keep doing because my medication never gave such good reports and now it's so good to report so keep doing whatever you are doing and but he said please tell me what are you doing so she explained to him what she was doing and then somehow you know situations happened she couldn't come to me and some issues happened she stopped her own practice and then her doctor said it seems you are not following what you were supposed to when did you last meet guru ma he said i had been now a year or so you pack your bags and go to gannor don't come to me because i know when you are meditating when you were doing your pranayam when you were doing your yoga nidra you are so good and i wonder then why are you here with me i, I cannot really help you who can help you go there and i know it's not me the person who can help anybody it's not me the individual who can help but it is the great lineage of our yogic practices which can help So I always say I am like an ambassador, and I am like a postman or postwoman. Yeah, I am like a postwoman who is bringing this message to you of a great sages, of a great masters who are great scientists in their own capacity, and giving you this message that if you strike out time of say forty minutes every day and do yoga nidra every day. soon you will find as i had talked in length and breadth the behavior changes the cognitive changes which come because of the stress these all things will begin to go and what would be left would be a peaceful a happier a saner a relaxed you and i am so so eager to see you in that state i am so so wanting you to be in that state and that would be a uh, best thing which you can do for yourself 